football team at Fuquay Verena High School is known for running the ball, which takes strength and power up front. One of the Bengals linemen has attracted national attention. He's a player you may be seeing at the next level. As Arn Anderson found out, his story is inspirational in this week's Living Local. Let me get a Bengals on three, one, two, three. Bengals! You got to believe in yourself to get there. So, yeah, when I get up on the field, I look at the guy across from me and I know I'm going to kill it. Okay. Then I do it. Mike DiNatale loves clearing lanes for running backs. For four years, he's been the starting right tackle at Fuquay Verena High School, a rarity in this day and age. Not very common that you have a, a four-year starter, especially up on the line. The year that he started, we were we were 12 and two, right? And uh, so you know, that tells you something about his uh, ability. What's it like running the football behind Mike? It, it's a blessing. I can tell you that it's a blessing. He hasn't let me down yet, so it's a blessing. I, I believe in him. If we go right, we're going to be all right. Oh yeah. Big Mike scored a big honor this summer when he was selected to the Blue Gray All American Game in January. Featuring some of the nation's top senior recruits. I was like starstruck. It was, I, I don't know how to describe it. It was, it was one of the happiest moments of my life. Every kid's goal is to be an All-American or make an All-American squad. For him to actually accomplish this um, has, been a, has been a dream for all of us. There's no doubt Dean Natal can handle himself on a football field. I mean, at 6'4", 285, he can probably handle himself just about anywhere. But believe it or not, there was a time Mike was the target of bullies. Back in elementary school, middle, early middle school, I was always the fat kid, right? It was before I ever worked out. I was always sitting in my room playing video games and stuff. And then eventually football came around. And honestly, that's what really got me from that. Football is what gave me pride. It's what gave me like self-worth almost because like I came on the field and I was like, wow, like this is for me. Like I'm good at this. Mike found his way through football and offers sage advice for anyone out there who may be dealing with bullying. Don't base your self-worth off other people. Don't base your self-worth off of what other people think of you. If, they, if you can tell yourself and you know you love yourself, then what somebody else says about you isn't going to go a long way. But you still got the people who love you at your house, and I'm sure you still got the people that love you and your group of friends. You always got somebody, so you can't ever let that one person that thinks less of you bring you down completely. Reporting for CBS 17, I'm Aaron Anderson. What a fantastic story. Good for him. Mike hopes to play football in college and NC State. Listen, it's on his wish list. We'll keep you posted on his progress this season.